My name's Alexander Kennedy and I come from Scotland. I'm a, a gypsy, a Scottish gypsy. Uh, well, my wife does the, the old fashioned job that we've done years ago, which is palmistry and tarot readings and what have you, you know? And this is a, a gypsy arts festival, which has shown a bit of the culture to the Gorja people to let them try and understand us a bit better, you know? Try and understand our way of life, our lifestyle, because uh, especially in Scotland, they didn't know that there's any gypsies in Scotland. We've entertained uh, James the First, James the Fourth, and Holyrood Palace in Edinburgh here. And there's quite a bit of history, and we're part of the Scottish history, but it's uh, part of the Scottish history that pe the people don't know about. So this type of festival, gypsy arts festival, it's just giving them a wee insight to our lifestyle, and a wee, we'll never get a wee bit of understanding. We're border gypsies. And my granny on my father's side was Mary Faw Blythe. Uh, the Faws were the, the Romney chills that's been here hundreds of years. I have a photograph of my granny uh, sat in front of a bow-top wagon and, and my mother in her arms doing exactly what I'm doing today. We're Romney chill, but we're not Roma. We've lived on an island for 500 years and they've been in Europe for maybe a thousand years and they've travelled Europe and they've intermixed. Well, our gypsies here in Britain have a very, very small community. And after 500 years, and especially in the climate in Scotland, you lose a bit of your colour. But we don't lose our culture. My name's Kerry Aber. I'm a singer and I play the violin. And I was playing here last night at the famous Spiegel tent in Edinburgh at the Gypsy Arts Festival. My background is on one side Vanush, which is Romani line, and the other side's Irish. I play Romani music, basically, but with a twist, because there's a lot of my own self-written stuff in there as well. I, I sing in Romani, so I think it's really important to do so. I think it would be very shallow of me with these roots to just use the music and sing the songs without actually giving people a window into what they're about, why these songs have come about on stage, but also I have also been an activist on top of that, um, working at ground level, grassroots level, trying to help people in communities, empower people to be able to organise themselves, of course, and get an education. We have to take the responsibility on of making sure that we let people know about us, we let people know what's happening. And uh, nobody wants to see placards and banners, really, that kind of activism when you go to a social event. But through what we do, we can inform people. And if there's something we're very good at, it's making our points across and communicating with people. I think there needs to be education of non romani people at all levels, to be honest. I'm in a fortunate position to be a musician, and music really does open doors. And I think when you're with your own people, they can always recognise you anyway. But you always find some root of connection there, and I think it's called collective memory for the most part. I think the Gypsy Arts Festival helped to bring people in to see music, art, gathering interest, which we then can push and embellish upon. And we're all around, we're sitting, we're socialising, and we're just behaving like everybody else here. And, you know, just our mere presence of being sociable and being able to speak and touch people um, makes them realise that we're not the demons we're portrayed to be in the press.
I do palmistry, tarot and crystal. The traditional readings that all my family have done all their lives as far back as I can go. If you haven't got it within you, then you can't do it. Uh, I, we believe it was passed, it's been passed down to our people through the generations. We believe that that was the gift that we were given. I've seen people's hands where I couldn't go any further but the lady was lovely she was a beautiful woman a lovely woman when it came to it I told her about her life about her teaching she was a teacher and whatever I said I'm not getting any further she said to me if you'd have said that to me she said and I had a queue outside she said I've gone out there and I'd have said to the people don't go in here because she's a waste of time she said but what you saw was right because she said I've got something about me that I will not be here next year they call it counselling, they call it life guide. I think I am an old fashioned word for a life guide because that's what I try to do. And I don't really care if somebody says this, that, and the other. The ones I care about are them people that walk in here and come back time after time. And I've made them feel better. They've told me that their life's been better for it. That, Jake, is for me. I love that. That for me is it's worthwhile. If you have one person in your life, you've achieved something. And I like to think I've helped more than one, but if I can help one, if I've helped one, I'm a happy woman. People are afraid of you or they see the negative side. Just let them see what we can do, what we do, the, the way we are. <laughs> When they get to know us, well, I didn't realise that you were just like we are. They see it, they enjoy it, they like it. And to see people that play music and so well, and they'll, they dance or whatever they may do. It's just opening people's eyes, it's just letting them say, look, we're only people, we're only human beings. <laughs> We are what we are, we're proud of what we are. And uh, so coming to the Arts Festival, seeing everything happening, seeing us recognised like that, it's just unbelievable.